Hi, thanks for joining us on Medford Cable News. I'm Wanda Saduko. And I'm Jamie Martell. And this is the Week in Review. Residents of Medford now know who will be on the ballot for mayor this November. Mayoral candidate Anthony D'Antonio and incumbent mayor Michael J. McGlynn won the 2011 primary on Tuesday night. Heidi was there. Heidi, what else can you add? And then there were two. Anthony D'Antonio will be the final contender against Mayor Michael McGlynn in the coming election. With over 3,000 votes cast, McGlynn brought two-thirds home with him, while Anthony D'Antonio took one-third over John Byers. Anthony D'Antonio also notes that the election is a very tough one, but he's still reassured despite the difficulties. I got into this race late because uh, I was waiting for one individual to declare whether they were going to be running for mayor or not. Had this individual run for mayor, I was going to support him. Uh, when I got the final word that he wasn't, I decided to go ahead with my plans to run for mayor. It's imperative that we change the way we do things. D'Antonio is hoping to shed some light to residents over the coming weeks as he organizes his platforms. His number one priority, public safety. Back to you, Wanda. Thanks, Heidi. Only 10% of the registered voters voted on Tuesday. While 10% sounds like a low turnout, it's actually higher than the last mayoral primary in 1999, where the polls reported only 8% of voters coming out to vote. And phone calls from concerned residents came flooding in the TV3 Monday night after a live interview with ex-mayoral candidate John Byers when he made objectionable statements about Mayor McGlynn, comparing him to Hitler. Byers then went on to make a Nazi salute gesture, which many are saying was a distasteful thing to do on live TV. Here's the clip. Mm -hmm. A vote for Michael J. McGlynn is a vote for keeping the same old, same old and keeping Fuhrer McGlynn in control for another two years. Hmm. What? What? <laughs> what? What was that? That's the German salute. Oh, that German salute. All right. No, I, I, make, I didn't know what you I were doing. I, did, I didn't know what you were doing there, John. Well, many have seen and objectionable, uh, objectionable gestures are not protected as f free speech. As long as the gesture remains satirical, it is fair game. Tell us what you think. Log on to medfordcablenews.com and email us your thoughts. The city's Office of Energy and Environment implemented a substantial amount of energy efficient improvements throughout Medford Public Schools that will enhance the quality of life for students and reduce energy costs. Through National Grid's small business program, Medford was able to upgrade lighting fixtures, heating systems, and help fund the installation of rooftop solar panels. This is just another step in Medford's already green movement. Broadway in Medford. It is this weekend at the Chevalier Theater as local theater group Seaside Productions put on their version of the hit Broadway musical Chicago. The musical is starring many local talents, including MCN's very own cameraman, Steve Bertarelli. Lots of luck, Steve. Tickets are still available at ChevalierTheater.com, or tickets can be purchased at the door Friday and Saturday. And when we come back, we'll have your weekend forecast with Harvey Allberg. Stay with us. Excuse me. What time are you guys leaving? We're going to rob your house tonight. Don't you wish there were warnings to protect you from life's risks? With diabetes, there is one. It's called A1C, and you should know about it. Ah, uh, it's a great day, isn't it? Yeah. Too bad your boat's going to sink at 11.05. Don't come closer. I have rabies. Don't you wish there were warnings to protect you from life's risks? With diabetes, there is one. It's called A1C, a simple blood test that helps measure your risk of a heart attack and other complications. Learn more at diabetesa1c.org. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, what looks good? Our special today is shrimp scampi. It's been sitting around for about a week. Excuse me, what time are you guys leaving? 
gonna rob your house tonight. Don't you wish there were warnings to protect you from life's risks? With diabetes, there is one. It's called A1C, a simple blood test that helps measure your risk of a heart attack and other complications. Learn more at diabetesa1c.org. It has been a beautiful week. Will the weekend be the same, Harvey? Thanks, Jamie. And uh, if you remember last week, what I said was the weather was finally catching up to the calendar. Well, this weekend, the weather is flying right by the calendar into mid-fall. It's going to be very cold this weekend, comparatively. And uh, uh, I think that you'll understand that the time is flying. We're no longer in real summer. So let's take a look at what's going to happen this weekend temperature-wise. We're going to talk about Friday, which is going to be sunny, high 65, low 46. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And the weekend ahead, if you look at Saturday, Again, in the mid-60s, low temperature maybe 42. So it's going to start up pretty cold on Saturday. On Sunday, same thing, mid-60s, low in the 40s, and clear. If you are going to the Patriots game on Sunday, remember it's a 415 start, bring a sweater and a jacket. It's going to be pretty cool uh, in the evening, and... Uh, uh, hopefully the Patriots are hotter than the temperature. So that's what it's going to be like at the Patriots game. Now, Hobbs hip facts. Why does it snow when the temperature is 35 degrees and it rains when the temperature is 28 degrees? Well, if you can remember in the springtime, sometimes, you know, the sun is getting warmer, temperature gets up 45 to 50 during the day, and then we get a storm uh, at night. And what happens with, is the precipitation brings the cold air down to the surface, and it may not be below freezing. It might be 35. But it's the temperature aloft that determines the type of precipitation. Conversely, if it was in the middle of the winter, we get one of those warm fronts. And remember, the warm air rides up over the cold air because it's lighter. It then creates rain that falls through the colder uh, temperatures. When it hits the ground, it freezes, and that's how we get the rain uh, with the cold temperatures. So let's look at the weekend again. Saturday, maybe mid-60s. If you look, we're right through Sunday and Monday. Monday's going to start to warm up. By Tuesday, late summer returns, and that is going to be a terrific weekend. I also want to say that uh, uh, Google Earth has uh, uh, been a partial uh, sponsor of uh, the weather forecast. We really appreciate it. And Wanda, back to you. Thanks, Harvey. I'm looking forward to that return to late summer. Uh, these stories and more, you can find them at MedfordCableNews.com. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Wanda Saduko. And I'm Jamie Martell. World News is next.